Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppy Who's Cracking It Today. Boss here, this video by Cam. It's titled, This TikToker is Having a Mental Health Crisis, Mr. Prada. So those of you who don't know, Mr. Prada is a very popular TikToker who just got charged for killing his therapist like a week and some change ago. The eerie thing about this, this video was released five months ago. So people were already noticing that he was having a breakdown of some sort and he had some mental instability taking place. So it's crazy that he uploaded this video five months ago and fast forward to today, he just killed his therapist. So yeah, we're gonna see what the details are because I was not familiar with Mr. Prada before news broke about um, the murder. But yeah, let's hear what he has to say, let's watch. Don't do anything drastic unless you wanna look like this. Ah! Every time I leave the house, these <laughs> in my face. Giving an update on um, my life becoming a nightmare. With over 8 million followers on just oh. TikTok alone, Mr. Prada is super viral. But his content recently has taken a dramatic and scary turn as fans have noticed that he just disappeared from social media and then returned in 2024 acting completely different. If you don't know who Mr. Prada is, his videos usually take viral TikTok sounds and use them in a witty and funny way. But by the end of 2023, he had completely ghosted everyone and just disappeared, leaving his 8 million followers to speculate what had happened to him. Where did this man go? I used to see him every single day on my For You page, and really? now I just don't. The only thing that his followers were able to do was take prior TikTok lives and his YouTube page in order to sort of speculate what was going on in his personal life and why he felt the need to just disappear from everyone. In a video that he posted to his YouTube channel back in July 2023 titled Woke Up Depressed, At Least I'm Skinny Though, he talked really openly about his struggles with depression and his problems in his past relationships. I didn't want to get out the bed today, but I got out the bed, of course, because I'm too skinny and sexy to lay in the bed all day and night. Relationships is a waste of time. Do not get into a relationship with anybody. All they're going to do is lie and cheat. But after this hiatus, he has now reappeared in April 2024, but now as a completely different Mr. Prada. He almost immediately took to TikTok and cut all of his hair off. He had beautiful hair. I think I might regret this. I don't know. I in a video titled Life Update, he shaves all of his hair off with clippers. In between cutting his hair off, he screams and he goes on these sort of nonsensical tangents. Life is a prison. Get me the f out. Like, I just woke up yesterday. I woke up yesterday. I woke up yesterday. I looked at the ceiling. I said, ah! You don't really know what he's thinking and how he feels. He just knows that he has to cut all of his hair off. In between the clippers, he's questioning why he looks like an egg over and over again. Why you look like an egg? Why you look like an egg? Why do you look like an egg? Why do you look like an egg? And he talks about how in this moment in his life, it's a mess and he has to start from scratch. I was almost perfect. But now I have to start over. I got to start from scratch. So you can kind of infer from this video that this is his Doja Cat or his Britney moment. People have speculated though why exactly he needed to cut his hair off. They're saying things like, oh, well maybe he just didn't like his hair or he clearly was having some texture issues. But I don't really think this is the case when you consider what Mr. Prada did next. In this life update video, Mr. Prada proceeds to then cut off his eyebrows and his beard. <laughs> Another point that I want to touch on with this life update video is it's really sad not only to watch because he's clearly going through something and he wants all of us to see him sort of starting this new Mr. Prada, but it's hard to watch because he doesn't edit out any of his outtakes like he does on TikTok, so you can't really understand 
sort of where he's starting or where he's going with some of his sentences. You don't really know what he's going through until five days later when he then posts a video to the same exact YouTube channel titled I'm bipolar and in this video he starts off by confirming that yes he does have bipolar disorder he has been diagnosed it seems I got bipolar I'm bipolar yeah y'all never seen anybody that's bipolar before see I was trying to hide it but it just slipped out but he doesn't really want to go into any details about it because he thinks that people will use this information against him. In the same video, he then goes into talking about makeup and getting a chemical peel and just improvements that he wants to make with his physical appearance. I need to learn how to do makeup so I can be a daddy. I need another chemical peel. I need another chemical peel. I'm going to get one. He also randomly talks about how people really wanted him to come back to TikTok bad. And now that he is back, he's happy to be back. He then transitions the video into trying to find his eyeliner for a bit. No, because that was... That was my favorite fucking eyeliner. And then by the end of the video, he's offering people tips on how to deal with mental health problems. Talk to a professional, talk to a professional. Don't do anything drastic mm -hmm. unless you wanna look like this. Now that Mr. Prada is back on social media, he has also been posting more on his TikTok and the TikTok videos have taken a dramatic turn. They are all over the place. You can't really tell once again what he's saying and his sentences just sort of ramble on and then he sees something else and then he goes out of frame and then he talks about something else for a little bit. It definitely does seem like he's in a sort of manic state. In one video, for example, he's getting ready to go to church, but it's all sped up so you can't really understand or make out what's actually happening. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Love you. And then in another video, you do kind of get the sense of what he's been experiencing off camera and offline. He's making chicken and potatoes. He said that he's been trying to eat more because he hasn't been having an appetite. And he mentions his therapist and he does confirm in this TikTok that he previously had a mental breakdown. My therapist told me in order to like- Is this the same like therapist? Get from like, cause my mental breakdown, like I gotta do all of the stuff like I was normally doing. You know, like last year before I took that long ass break from TikTok, I want to talk to you guys about how Mr. Prada's oh, fans are reacting to him being back and how they're reacting to all of this. On the one hand, they obviously are happy that he's back. A lot of people have been speculating since he's been off social media and they've been posting about this in their own TikToks about how he just disappeared and they don't know what had happened to him. For him to be back, they're excited about it. He's made a lot of people laugh for years and years. But then on the other hand, they they don't know what is wrong with him and they See, haven't people, really gotten an he, answer out of him as to what has been happening in his personal life. He has made comments here and there that he has been in a psych ward and he has been dealing with some stuff that he hasn't really wanted to talk to people about. Anybody that says Illuminati block, anybody that says Doja Cat block all of them. Block anybody that says anything about my hair block them. Anybody that says anything rude, block them. But we haven't really gotten a full was sit down. Anybody that says. So I was so fixated on the eyebrows and the. Anyway, I didn't even realize that he has a snake around his neck. A moving snake. People about. I don't actually like snakes though, little. I don't think I would want one. I don't like when they shed. It's gross. My sister had one and I don't, I don't like that. But. I, I do think they're interesting. Anybody that says Illuminati, block anybody that says Doja Cat, block all of them. Block anybody that says anything about my hair, block them. Anybody that says anything rude, block them. But we haven't really gotten a full sit down live video of where he is mentally and what he has been going through. And I don't really think we're going to get that because 
he doesn't really seem to be in a place to be able to provide that to us. I mean, he has millions and millions and millions of followers and fans. And we all know that social media not only makes our existing mental health issues worse, it can outright cause a development of disorders. In a 2023 study, it was found that, quote, the use of social networks is strongly correlated with the development of anxiety and Mm -hmm. other psychological problems, such as depression, insomnia, stress, decreased subjective happiness, and a sense of mental deprivation. And unfortunately, it seems like this is what's happening in Mr. Prada's case. He has had a mental breakdown, and clearly he's dealt with some bipolar and depression issues in the past. One can also speculate it's because of this immense amount of pressure that he has with these millions of followers and with this content being, I'm pretty sure, his main source of income, how he feels the pressure to post and comment and provide content for his followers day in and day out, and this has taken a toll on him. A lot of people use social media like TikTok to escape, and it is so entertaining. We all love it. I can sit here for hours and hours, and the algorithm knows me so well, and I can be just so wrapped up in my own world. But these studies have also shown that these entertainment apps can make us all feel like shit and make us feel even worse about ourselves. This same study found that, quote, the use of social networks has also been reported to be associated with lower self-esteem, a decreased sense of subjective well-being shortly after its use, and a decrease in the levels of satisfaction with life Mm. in the long run. It's so easy on these apps. They're putting social media all in one box. I don't agree that it's all social media, though. I think YouTube is very different. Well, depending on what you watch, obviously. Um, But I watch, in my free time, (laughs) I watch a lot of, like, self-help stuff. I watch, like, uh, meditation and spiritual videos. Um, I mean, I watch some bullshit, too. Don't get me wrong. It's not all pure. But I feel like there's more of a balance. TikTok and Instagram, I feel like, are one of the most toxic. And probably Facebook, too. Um, I'm definitely not on there. But, I mean, I'm on there, but I don't check it. I check it, like, once every few months. Um, but, yeah, there, there are some social um, networks that are way more toxic than others. I just cannot imagine sitting on TikTok for hours. Hours? Especially TikTok, which people don't really think about to subconsciously compare yourself to other people. TikTok has made me realize that everyone is funny and a lot of people out there make me laugh. I grew up thinking that no one could ever make me laugh except for myself. I was the funniest person ever. But honestly, I am not as funny as you bitches. And everyone is so attractive. Everyone has a great life and my algorithm is algorithming all the time. So I'm seeing and comparing myself to almost everything on this app. The apps that you think are the most entertaining for you are just helping you escape your problems and are only hurting your mental health in the long run. With Mr. Prada, it does seem like him being back on social media, we're able to read a little bit in between the lines in his videos. These videos, even though they are, as I've mentioned over and over again, nonsensical and just statements, and then he'll just run out of frame and then come back and then talk about makeup Mm -hmm. or talk about getting a chemical peel, it does seem like there is some vulnerability in these videos, especially because you consider the fact that he is probably used to editing a lot of his outtakes because of TikTok. That's the thing that you do on there. So for him to just keep these in and you can kind of see the sentences that he's struggling with and the thoughts that he's sort of trailing off with, you can see the things that he's thinking in his head. Because I'm changing up my aesthetic. I'm changing up my aesthetic. I'm finna be the best punk. Oh yeah, I thought somebody said something. I'm finna be the best motherfucker. I'm changing up my aesthetic. When my hair go back, I'm finna be best. I'm finna be sexy again. But now, right now, I have to wait. I gotta wait these three months it takes for my eyebrows to grow back. Oh, like, yeah, why not get the eyebrows too? Yeah. One thing that you notice over and over again that he kind of comes back to is like- him being a bad and him having this confidence, then talking about how he wants to get a chemical peel and how you know he's skinny but he's depressed and how he wants to get into makeup. So you can kind of infer that he has some issues with his self-esteem and there does seem to be something going on with how he feels with the way that he looks. Social media makes us all way more self-conscious and obviously sensitive about the way that we look. Interesting, I will link his video down below if you wanna hear the rest of his thoughts, but I agree with him 1000%. 
social media is definitely toxic and it can have such a negative effect on our mental health. And I feel like we hear this all the time. We don't really understand the effects that it's directly having on us because they may not be as immediate, but long term, it's it's deteriorating your mental health. You don't even know it. You don't know why you're sad. You don't know why you feel depressed. It's probably because you're on TikTok for hours at a time. I cannot imagine being on TikTok for fucking hours. I'm on TikTok every now and then when I'm on the toilet. Sorry, TMI. But <laughs> that's it. I'm not in my bed on TikTok. I'm not out and about on TikTok. I'm not at the gym on TikTok. None of that. And I feel like that is the worst platform, to be honest. And then Instagram is, is second. Um, but yeah, I'm barely on those apps. Like barely, barely. YouTube, I work on YouTube. So there's that. I'm on YouTube a lot because of that alone but even in my spare time I watch videos but I watch all different type of videos I watch tech videos I watch spiritual videos I watch fitness videos so I feel like it, it's such a good source of information so you know YouTube doesn't have to be toxic um but these other apps bro you gotta be very careful with them um but anyway I definitely feel like this is so eerie looking back at it because he discussed this five months ago. This was what, in, in May? Um, so way before he killed this therapist. And then he even mentions the therapist in the video. I wonder, is it the same one? Or was you know it a different one that he switched over to? I don't know. But this is very, very sad that you know it, it came to this. And he didn't get enough help before it was too late. Uh, but yeah, now he's facing charges and he's sitting in jail. So this is crazy. Y'all take care of yourself out there. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.